the sum of three consecutive even integers is 78. Find the integers. This is very similar to the last problem, except instead of them being consecutive integers, they're consecutive even integers. Let's start off with our let statements. We're looking for three numbers. Let's let the smallest or first number be x. Now, when we're looking at consecutive even integers, we don't add 1 each time we go to the next integer. If we look at some consecutive even integers, for example, 8, and then 10, and then 12, and then 14, and then 16, to get from one integer to the next, you have to add 2. To get from 8 to 10, you add 2. To get from 10 to 12, you add 2. To get from 12 to 14 or 14 to 16, you add 2. So if the smallest of these consecutive even integers was x, we have to add 2 to get the next one. So we're going to let the second number be x plus 2. Again, if we're at an even integer, to get to the next even integer, we have to add 2. Now, when we want to find the third number, we have to add 2 to the second number. So we're going to let the third number be. And if we take x plus 2 and add 2 more to that, we end up getting x plus 4. So the three numbers are going to be represented by x, x plus 2, and x plus 4. It's a little different from the last problem. Now, we're still told that the sum is 78. So when we add those numbers, x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4, we still end up with 78 as a sum. But the left-hand side is different from the last problem, so we're going to get a slightly different answer. Let's start solving by combining like terms. x plus x plus x is 3x, but 2 plus 4 gives us 6. So we have 3x plus 6 on the left-hand side, and that's equal to 78. To get the variable term alone, we need to get rid of that 6 and we do it by subtracting 6 from both sides. That leaves us with 3x on the left, and 78 minus 6 is 72 on the right. Now the last step in solving this equation, to get x alone, requires us to divide by 3. When we divide both sides by 3, that leaves x on the left-hand side, and 72 divided by 3 is 24. So when we go up to our let statements, we see the smallest number is x, which is 24. But the next one is x plus 2. 24 plus 2 is 26. And then the last one was x plus 4. And 24 plus 4 is 28. We can see that these are, in fact, consecutive even integers. 24, 26, 28. So we were asked to find the integers our conclusion will be the integers are 24, 26, and 28. And that's our final answer.